but we in the ghettos in every city throughout America, really throughout the earth. They go to black. Where the ghettos at? They go to Negroes. They go to Spanish. They go to Native Americans. We're cursing those cities. Cursing drugs, poverty, crime. Brother, uh, we're Israel United in Christ. What we do is try to come out here and teach our people who they are according to the Bible. You understand? And our people are here, what you see on this sign here. So-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. I say so-called because in this country, we've been given names like American Black. You know what I'm saying? West, West Indies, Jamaicans, um, you know, Haitians. We don't know our biblical names. On this, on this side is what God's called. It's like you consider yourself American black, right? On this, the God calls you the tribe of Jew. What we don't know is actually who we are. Give me John 8, 22. Let me see if you ever heard this verse before. John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Have you ever heard that before? Oh yeah. Let me ask you a question. Read it again. And ye shall know the truth. God said you're going to know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. So it must mean a lie has got us in captivity. Somewhere along the line. Right, right. <laughs> right. The so lie. let me ask you. Go have ahead. you ever heard anybody ever ask, what is the truth? Oh, that's a lot of times. Yeah. So what is the truth? What is the truth? Right. If somebody what? asked, have you ever heard the answer? No. Yes. So, chapter 119. Verse 142, Great. thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. What is the truth? Thy law thy is law. the truth. God's righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and the law, the law is the truth. So the laws of God is the truth. The laws of God. We're going we go, we go, we go to dissect the law. Right, right. We dissect the law. So, God okay, gave us the law is the truth. Right. What is the law? Bring it on in. Bring it on in. Give me a uh, Bring it on in. Deuteronomy. Chapter Matthew. Are you a father? Your father? Hmm? Your father? Yes, sir. Did you give your children rules to follow? Yes, sir. Was that a law in your house? <laughs> That's what the laws are. God's rules is, is called something in the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me. God gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. Those laws, statutes, and commandments he gave us to us. This is how we're supposed to live, how we're supposed to govern ourselves, how we're supposed to treat each other, how we're supposed to um, dress, who we're supposed to eat, all these things he's given us. This is the, like you give your children rules for what? So they can be wise. God gave us rules are commandments, laws that commandments for us not only to be wise, but for also how we should rule our house and how we should rule the earth. You understand? God gave us these laws so we can rule the earth. Because don't you know, we always say we was kings and queens? Don't you know, we say that? And, and it's also written. Right, but what I'm saying is how people don't know what line of kings and queens, because that's, that many nations got kings, right? We don't know what lineage we come from. You understand? That's why when we ask our people what's their nationality, 
I'd have asked him what's your nationality, what would you told him? African American. Right. See right here? Yeah. yeah. African American. Yeah. It's because we don't know who we are. Yeah. Right. We're the tribe of Judah. Yeah. Right. That ain't, that ain't my nationality. But Judah is what tribe you come from. That's the tribe I come from. The nation my, you come from, the nation of Israel. what's my nationality? You're an Israelite. That's what you are. Israel of life. Right. Israel of life. And I'm going to prove that. I can buy that. I can buy that. Place. That ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Read. Keep therefore and do them. So God gave us these laws that statute commandments for us to do them. Read. For this is your wisdom. This is your what? Your wisdom. Read. And your understanding in the sight of the nations. So God gave us wisdom. You understand? And understanding to rule these nations. Read which shall hear these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So when you follow God's laws, they're supposed to look at us and say, surely this is a great, wise, and understanding people. Do they say that about us now? No. You know why they don't say it? Let me go there for a six. The reason why they, they don't say it? They don't say it? Because we don't know who the hell we are. Because they fear. Well, keep in mind, they fear, they, they fear truth, but guess what? Truth is only given to who? God's children. Everybody's not a child of God. Watch this. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. He said, my people. Everybody's not his people. His people were the people he led out of uh, Egypt. What people did he lead out of Egypt? The Israelites. That's right. That's who God's people are. The Israelites. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. We rejected knowledge. You understand? What knowledge did we reject? We rejected Christ. Watch this. Malachi 2 and 7. Malachi yeah, chapter yeah. 2, verse 7. This Look at the book of Hosea. Yeah. We, hadn't, we hadn't even gotten to Christ yet. Book of Hosea. Hosea. We hadn't even gotten to Christ yet. You understand? Keep in mind, Christ is prophesied throughout the whole book. But at the same time, we had got to Christ. So we was rejecting God's what? But the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest is supposed to keep knowledge. He's going to tell you what knowledge that we reject. And they should seek the law at his mouth. They supposed to seek the what? Seek the law at his mouth. He's supposed to seek the laws at his mouth. You understand? Read. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So the true messengers of God will teach you what? The law. The laws. Did your pastors teach you the laws? They talk about it. What is that? Is that right? I'm, I'm, I'm digging everything you did. What book is that? Right. Remember, I'm going to show you something in a minute. Remember, he said we, we rejected God's laws. Supposed to be teaching what? The laws. So who you think is rejecting it so the people don't learn it? Yes. Because they might remember the true message of God is teaching you the laws of God. So they must not so they must not be what? Right. They're not a God. They're false prophets. Right. That's what they are, false prophets. Right. Hold on, I want you, I want you to hear something. Go back to Hosea, right? Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Uh -huh. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. You know how God rejected us? What is this slavery? The white man that put us in slavery. God put us in slavery. One thing, because we read again. Read again. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Uh -huh. That thou shalt be no knowledge? priest to me. We rejected God's Did law. Did we reject that? Yes. Watch this. Go to Deuteronomy 28. Yeah, yeah. Take me there. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Sorry, verse 1. Verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So God said he would set us on high in rulership of all the nations. God created 18 nations. He said, y'all uh, follow my laws and commandments, I'm going to put you in rulership of all the other nations. You understand? So, but there's a flip side. Go to verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, 
to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all of these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? No, a curse is a bad thing. Go ahead, you know, the bad thing. Yeah, right. Thing. So he said, I'm going to send curses upon you. Yeah. So let's look at some of the curses. He said, we're going to fall upon you. But why? Because we didn't keep the commandments. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. 